morning everyone i keep saying good morning it's literally afternoon it's two o'clock just about right now where i am and i can't lie it's been a very productive day i finished the laundry i just have to fold about two more loads and then i'll be done and i was able to get my grocery shopping done today guys i'm so proud of myself because one of my bad habits is overusing instacart now i love instacart don't get me wrong i think it's very flexible i think it's very convenient especially when you live in far locations and the nearest grocery store might be you know really far out but me my grocery store is really not that far it's just sometimes i'm a bit lazy <laughs> But what I don't like about Instacart is all them fees, the service fees, the delivery fees. It's like almost doubles your order to the point where it's like, okay, you know what? Let me just get my lazy butt up because why am I paying $60 on an order total that was originally like 33 You know what I mean? So today I purposed on my heart to go out and get my groceries and I did just that. I do have some things that I would still like to do around the house in terms of like tidying it up and stuff, but... I'm not mad. It's been productive days so far. And again, it's only like 2 p.m. And I'm so happy because my husband is home. You know, he has the day off. So we are going to have a little date night tonight. You know, have a little spontaneity. That's one thing I love, just being able to get up with him and do things spontaneous sometimes. It doesn't happen all the time because, you know, work and stuff. And he has a lot going on personally when it comes to like his offices and stuff that he's involved in. So when we do get the chance to like go out and do things together, I definitely like capitalize on it and I have a grand old time. I also went to Macy's today, but I didn't buy anything for myself. Can you believe that? I'm literally so proud of myself. It's like, nah. But I got my husband some Nike fleece pants. When I tell you it is so warm and so cozy because the weather's been getting a little chilly out. So I'm like, I gotta get my man right. So I got him this nice um, army green and black Nike pants. But it was super cute. Once in a while, you're gonna spoil your man, you know, do some cute for him, spontaneous. So I was like, you yeah, let me be a good wife today. <laughs> I mean, every day we're a good wife, but I'm like, let me go the extra mile today. And this is kind of like a side note, but are there any other wives out there who kind of like give themselves report cards in a sense? Not for me, but like, I know personally, sometimes I'll sit down with my husband and I'll ask him, oh, you know, how am I doing? Are you happy? Are you satisfied? Is there anything that you need more of that I can do? Anything I can do better of? Anything that I can do less of? You know, just to monitor your improvement as a wife. Anybody else do that? I've been trying to implement that more at different stages just to make sure I'm on track because, you know, I just want to make sure I'm doing my very best. Honestly, if you're going to be doing that, you have to be willing to hear the truth. And sometimes the truth might not be what you expected for. Maybe you aren't doing as great as you thought you were. Maybe your problem is doing too much of this. And maybe he might want you to do a bit more of this. So, you know, sometimes you got to just be willing to hear the truth, the ugly truth, because it's needed for growth. These are the pants I was telling you guys about that I got from my husband. See the material? very nice and soft and this is the army green one that i was able to get it in as well there was a hoodie that i wanted that matched the one i'm wearing but they didn't have one in his size and i also got him this cute little basketball tee i think it's so cute love it fresh and that's about it you know i didn't go crazy because we're not trying to spend too much. You know, we balling, but we balling on a budget. Can I get an amen? I'm so excited for our date night though. I don't know if I want to dress up or just keep on what I have now because it is cute and casual. Look at this little necklace I have. It's so cute. I love it because it low-key looks like diamonds. <laughs> Always wanted diamonds, but who's paying diamond money? Not me. If I can get the appearance and something that is at a very reasonable price, oh honey, I'm going to do it. Okay, ignore the towels, but this is the fit right now. And I love orange and camouflage together. I think it's so cute for my little necklace. So it's very cozy, but I don't know. I might change in case I want to dress up. But if he's not dressing up, I'm not dressing up. I'm going to match his vibe. It's literally always a fight trying to get the garbage to the disposal, I swear. I'm going to finish packing with some of my groceries now, though. And yeah.
see the movie. Apparently it's three hours. We didn't know it was a three hour movie. It better be good. It was not recommended by me. By your girl, Julie. Every time we come to this theater, they have this Morton Steakhouse. And we always say we're going to come, but we never do. But one day we're going to come. They got like a dress code. Yeah, they have like a dress code. You can't just come in there any old way. But I don't know, maybe one day. Maybe, maybe. It's literally November and they already have all the decorations out. Terrible. Can't make this stuff up. We have to see Mufasa one of these days too. When it comes out. <laughs> what can you do with the pillows? <laughs> huh? Hi Milo! Hi Milo! My Mufasas! Hello! Okay guys, we're back from the movie theaters. Movie was, it was good, just very gruesome, very gruesome, very. We wanted to see Smile, the second one. So, yeah, it was all right. We had a good time. We're back home now. We had some good food when we were there too. I got some french fries and some chicken quesadillas. It was bomb. One of my favorite reasons for going to the theater, they had some bomb food. It's like a dine-in type of theater, so they bring the food to you. Really good. Anyways, we're back home now. I'm going to go shower off and we're gonna go relax for a bit. I know this vlog was a little bit short, but I just wanted to show you guys a day in the life of a submissive wife. Date night <laughs> edition. See you guys in the next one, shalom.